Hey guys, and welcome to part two of our Minecraft rigging tutorial character person kind of thing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add armatures. Remember last time we went over um, adding, you know, making him, making him all one mesh, and texturing him. And uh, gave him a download. Or this scene, or like clearly better, you know, everything was proper and stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm in orthographic mode right now. And yeah, I, need to be. I was like, I don't need to be, but then I do. Okay, so one to go in front of you, or again, you can go down here and uh, do that stuff. And we're going to Z to go into wireframe mode. And we're going to be adding bones. So Shift A. Armature, single bone, holding control down to move it to right here. There we go. It's sort of right. If I zoom in far enough, eh. Close enough. Okay. So, you're going to hit tab with this bone selected, and we can now select the whole bone or just those little swivel points of the bone. Hold the control to bring it down to the middle and also selection to grid because yeah that was off that's it ah ha okay we just had to snap it to the grid uh, that was why the bone was all off and we're going to whoa whoops don't don't do that and we're going to select this little oh it's a quick point right here wait before we do almost forgot three you gotta make sure that you in the right place. There we go. Okay. And then um, go to the top swivel point and hit E to extrude a new bone out. Holding control again. Bring it up to the neck. And then, yeah. And then again, extrude. This bone will be for the head. And then duplicate this. Or no. Wait. Uh, don't duplicate it. Um, Hit Shift A and it will automatically add in a new bone. Again, selection grid. I'm actually going to hit Shift C to recenter my cursor, my 3D cursor. There we go. And uh, R to rotate 180 degrees. So I just type in 180. And. Drag this to the middle where the where the where the elbow will be. How far can you go? Oh, that's this far. Where did we go? And then again, extrude. <clears throat> then duplicate this. Move it over to the other arm. Duplicate again. Duplicate again. And there we go. We oh golly three. Um there we go. We now have an armature-ish thing. Um now we're going to move this here. Actually, first thing we want to do is go to it, go to object data right here, tab. You you have to have the armature selected and not be in pose mode, but you're in object mode. And then click X-ray, and now we can see the armature. If you want to go into uh, pose mode, you know, switch between object mode and pose mode real fast, like you can with edit mode and object mode. Control tab to go into edit uh, into this mode. You know. And you'll notice if we hit R to rotate this, or double or double tap R to free rotate, we will notice. Um, doesn't bring the mesh with it, and of course, because we haven't told it to bring the mesh with it. So, control tab, um, then click on the body, then shift click on the armature, and control P, and with automatic weights. Now, okay, this is going to look terrible. This, this is awful. This is, this is not what we want. Agreed? Agreed. Great, this is this is all terrible. And we can fix this. Actually, this is how you do it. 
by selecting the mesh, coming down here and going into weight paint mode, and then hitting Z to go into wireframe mode, then this, this just kind of helps. One, and then sort of grab this and move it over a bit, that makes it easier. And then come up here, subtract, turn up the strength a bit, and you know, you can hit F to scale your brush. And I don't know what the weight amount does. I have no idea. I'll just leave that on one. And, you know, subtract and add. I don't know what any of these other ones do, but uh, subtract and add are pretty self explanatory. And then left click on it a bunch of times until, you know, um, it's a grayscale. <clears throat> Not a grayscale. Gradient. That's it. It's a gradient. So, pretty easy to tell. It's a bluish to red thing. And then just keep keep going, boss. And uh, head. Mm. Weight painting is something you really have to figure out on your own. If you don't quite under aha, if you don't quite understand it at first, then that's okay. You, you just gotta basically figure it out after a while. Subtract all this. Okay. And yes, weight painting is very, very confusing. Crack, crack, crack. Okay. Um. Now, wow, that went unbelievably fast. It's not done yet, of course, but um, it's, it's going faster than I have ever had it had it done before. Like I'm almost done now, and. And should be good to go actually. Just return everything to weight. Oh no! Thought I saw some weight paint there. Just turn everything back to its natural habitat. And oops, Z. Go back into object mode. And well. That should do it. I think. I think yeah. I think that is it for weight paint. Hooray! Because weight paint is really frustrating and it doesn't get any easier as time goes on. But let us. Sadly, elbows don't work. Now we can fix it. We can fix it by simply going into edit mode right here. Going into wireframe mode helps. And hitting over here, uh, you can, if it's not open, you can hit T to open it up, or T to close it, and or you can click on that, um, and hit Add Loop Cut and Slide, choose where you want it to be, then left click, and yeah. And if you put it here where you're like, whoa, what just happened, I moved this up and down, that's so that you can put it wherever you want. If it's up and you can't get it right back in the place, you can't get it back in the right place, then just right click. And in all saying it's not going to work well, don't worry about that, it's going to work just fine. It's going to work fine. It's actually going to work pretty well. So what this does is basically it adds, it adds extra faces. So it's basically turned this into more faces. And if you want smooth bends, well, well, we'll go over that then. We'll go over that later. Because that is not, you know, trying to right now. And you can see now it's uh, it's a bit better. But it gets, it's, uh, <laughs> as PJ Lad Kills would put it, gets extremely a lot smaller. So, three, and we'll notice if we select this and go into modifiers, you'll see it is already, ha it already has one. We check preserve volume here gets a bit better and we will get into fixing that uh soon i don't know i don't know when i don't know how soon S someday soon someday very soon like maybe tomorrow i don't know i i just made two episodes in one day uh oh
is something has control. Wait, painty nests over that. But yeah, that's about it. We've added armatures and yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um next episode we'll probably be starting to go over things like bone limiters and maybe facial features. Yeah, because facial features are really necessary for a lot of people. We'll go over facial features next and then after that. Probably in that hmm, because facial rigging requires a lot of parts. It'll sort of be a mishmash of episodes and different subjects from now on. It's probably so. Stay tuned for the next episode because this is going to be really fun. I hope you guys will find it fun. That is. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. You may notice that when we move this, it doesn't move the arms with it. It's like they just don't want to move. So, what we want to do is we want to uh, shift click on both of these and then click on this one last again, last, and control P. Object, keep transform, and we move this or not. Control P. I think it's bomb. Okay, I solved the problem. You just have to go into bone edit mode thing. And then do the exact same thing, only. Whoops. Only. Ah! Keep hitting the mouse. Only keep offset and then. And then this happens. It, it works really well. You know? And yeah. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Uh, like and subscribe for more of this series, and I hope you all enjoyed. See you later, and I hope you learned some things.